Hi, and I'm reading an essay sent to me. I think you sent this to me yesterday. It's it's a free TOEFL writing practice test eva evaluation that I do. And uh, let me look at the writing rubrics here. Okay, I got them right here. So I have the writing rubrics, and I didn't introduce myself. I am Michael. I am the founder, owner, and the materials writer from OTC, OnlineTOEFLCourse.com. And I'm the one who created the web page where you posted your writing practice test. So uh, I think that with maybe some minor changes, I think that you should be able to get pretty close to a perfect score on the writing. I'm guessing right around 29 to 30 points. Uh, you have incredible sentence control. Your grammar is pretty good. And you obviously, based on this one paragraph, look at this, you really know how to develop an idea, right? So that's a great paragraph, over 200 words for one paragraph. Okay, so your score here, I'm going to put you at 3.75, 24 points out of 30. So let's, let's think about what you could do that can get this thing even higher than it is. So the payment should be proportional to the learning of the students. And I would have a little bit more specific thesis here. So take these three ideas that you've put in these three body paragraphs and incorporate it. So the payment should be proportional because it would encourage teachers to teach more engagingly. It would prevent teachers from leaving their professions or moving to another school. And it would encourage it would uh, create improved job satisfaction among teachers or something. So you need to take these ideas and then incorporate them into the thesis. Okay, now, so I think this topic sentence is very clear, but in this paragraph, in every college or school, we overcome, uh, you want to see we come across, not overcome, right? We come across some famous teachers who are loved by students because of the way they teach. But that's just a fact. It doesn't state any argument, and it doesn't really relate back to the uh, writing prompt. So that's where your writing kind of went off a cliff. So you don't really have a great topic sentence here. Uh, the next one, however, is pretty good. You know, they would have improved job satisfaction as their efforts are being recognized and incentivized. That was a great topic sentence. So. Two out of the three were good. One wasn't so good. So you need a more sharply focused thesis. You need a better topic sentence in that second body paragraph. And then throw this sentence away and never use it again. If I see this sentence one more time, I think I'm going to have a heart attack. It says, I have to admit that my opinion on this matter has been profoundly influenced by my own experiences. I have seen this a thousand times I'm not kidding you for at least seven or eight years get rid of this sentence I hope that this sentence goes into a grave and it never comes out of the dirt ever again and look at this what if you get rid of all of that which does nothing really and just say this I have not changed the difference in meaning at all to illustrate so don't use that sentence. You copied that from the internet. Don't do that, right? So that's, that's the one big thing. And you had a slight problem with your grammar of such a metric, you want to say here, didn't exist. Not all teachers would show. So when you're using, you're talking about what's called a present impossible condition. So you need to use a simple past tense form of the verb, at least, in the conditional clause and then not all teachers would show so if a metric did not exist not all teachers would show so be careful when you're talking hypothetically about present impossible conditions and try to control your sentence when you're doing that but overall congratulations you have you have great writing skills so I think you can get 30 out of 30, right? I think you can do this. But a better thesis, make sure you have clearly marked topic sentences. Don't copy anything from the Internet. And just make sure you don't have too many grammar errors. And the way that you develop and organize your ideas, I really believe you can get that high score. All right? And, yeah, thank you for completing this, this practice test.